Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the sign rule. Hopefully we've seen this before, but it's been a year or two years possibly since you guys saw it. Uh, we're going to work with it a little bit here. I would say that in the AISL course, we don't work with it uh, to the same degree as we did in IM3. Um, we don't do the ambiguous case. We do have a couple of bits and pieces to see today. One of them that we're going to look at together with this is the arc length formula. Did you see the arc length formula before? Have we seen this before? So if you're not familiar, check your Google Classroom. Look at your formula sheet. So let's just go have a quick look at the formula sheet today uh, for H block. There's a couple of formulas that we're going to introduce and make sure we work with on geometry. So when we look at geometry, just get this open, here we go. Section three, arc length. So what we've got in the arc length formula is we need to find the, so the 2 pi r is the circumference of a circle. The 2 pi r is the circumference of the circle. The three, theta over 360 degrees is the fraction of the circle that is used for the arc. So you've got a fraction of the circle there. We're always working in degrees on this course. Uh, this formula is much more elegant when we work in radians. Um, it simplifies a lot nicer. So that's that first formula. So we are going to need here for the arc length that the arc length is equal to theta over 360. That is a fraction of a circle multiplied by 2 pi r, which is the circumference of a circle. And this is the formula that we're going to use for that one. We're also going to solve problems with non-right angle triangles in using the sine rule. So using the sine rule. What, what is the sine rule? Let's have a look on this one. There it is, if you remember it. This is the sine rule. We only ever use two parts of this at a time, uh, but I'll just copy this one across for us. So for the sine rule, um, sine rule feels like a black formula, which will use A over sine A. as the sine rule. All right, so we're looking to basically remind ourselves how to use these formulas. So arc length. Uh, the length of the arc of a sector is given um, as the formula like this one. It looks a bit more confusing there. Find the length of the arc of a circle with radius two and central angle 120. Take out your calculators, have a go at this one, see what we can come with for our answer. Okay, so we get there as our, when we put it in, we're going to take 120 over 360, multiplied by 2 pi, and then the radius is 2 which gave us 4.19 centimeters. Arja Thea, I'm going to separate you two if you can't not chit-chat all the way through the lecture. Okay, so reminder of the sine rule. We can write the sine rule either way up. If you notice, see on the formula sheet, we only give it in this format here like this on the formula sheet. But my recommendation is if you're finding a side, use this one. If you're finding an angle, start with it flipped like this. If you're just using n solve, as most of you will be, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But if you're rearranging it a little bit, um, then that tip helps. All right. We've got a problem like this one. So what we're going to do with these type of problems, always start with a sketch. Whenever you're problem solving, you don't quite know what to do, sketch the problem as you see it. So we'll draw a triangle. It doesn't matter if the triangle 
um, is correct or not. It just needs to be drawn. And then we label up the sides. We can see by looking here and here that we're involving the letters Q, R, and S. So I'll start here with a Q, R, S. I'm not looking at which is the biggest side or which is the biggest angle. It's just a diagram. Then label up my sides. Q, R is 15 meters. So 15 meters here. S, R is 6.5. That's over here. 6.5 meters. And the angle S is 125. So obviously I've got that one well wrong, but it doesn't matter. This is 125 degrees. There's our diagram. With the sign rule, with the sign rule, what you want to look for is, do you have a ratio? Do you have a side and an angle opposite? Do you have an angle, a given angle that you know, and a given side that you know, and that they lie opposite each other? So this is where we start. We start with this. We have this angle, and this side is opposite it. This is our key starting point. So we put that up as our ratio. That tells us that. What are we after on this one? Let me just label it what we're going to try and find. We're going to try and find Q. This is the one that we're after. We're trying to find this one. Do we have the side opposite that? Yes, we do. So we have all the information we need to form this one up. We're after an angle, so I'm going to start with sine on the top. So sine Q over the side that's opposite, 6.5, is equal to sine 125, and then the side that's opposite, 15. And then we need to solve that. Uh, have a go at solving that now on your, for yourself. There's two ways you can do it. You can just end solve that as it is. I'm sure that's what 90% of you will choose to do, or we can rearrange it. Okay, so we can rearrange this if we want, or we can just end solve it. If we rearrange it, we will get Q is equal to sine to the minus 1 of 6.5 sine 125 over 15. What did we get as our answer? 20.8? 20 point, 20 point What's the units? Degrees. Okay. Ooh. Bearings. Bearing questions are tricky, especially if you're not given the diagram especially if you're not given the diagram. This is one of the trickiest topics at the edge of the syllabus here. Uh, and if they want to make a harder question, this is the topic that we do it on in this topic. And then to make the, the hardest form is when you, you don't give the diagram and you have kids draw the diagram. They just mess it up a, a little bit. So we have a ship at point S. I'm just going to show you how to draw the diagram as well. We have a ship at point S which is on a bearing of 120 degrees from port A and 42 degrees from port B. The distance between port A and B is 15 meters.
So I'm, just so I don't mess it up, I'm going to just visualize it a little bit. We're at 120 down there. We're at 42 there. And there's a 50 degrees. Okay, we're not told any relationship between A and B. So I'm going to have my... my A here, my B here, and we're given the distance between these two. The distance between these two, we're told, is 15.2. Now, I chose, I chose to have A at the top and B at the bottom. That's why I paused on, so that my diagram is easier to sort of work out, because the angle here is acute. I mean... Um, obtuse and the angle here is acute and so the this this one here is acute and this one here is obtuse so i'm coming down from that one but up from that one is what i sort of saw and i visualized it a little bit so we have a ship which is over here and then the angles between these ones we're going to make a triangle like this. That one goes there. This one comes here. Now, for a bearing, when we draw a bearing, we start off with a compass like this with north. And all bearings are rotations from the north. So at point A, I see that there's a rotation from the north of 120 degrees, which is why I know it's sort of moving down like that. This is 120. So I made a little sketch in my head of these sort of two angles. This one here is 42, um, so that I could place B like this and A like that, and then wanted them to cross. So I'm going to get a little cross here, and this angle is 120 degrees. I'm going to get a little cross here and this angle here from the... Let me get this right. Do this. So this angle here is 42, not this angle here. Okay. So I don't actually have any angles inside my triangles. There we see. Mm. Does it does it say that A and B uh, that A is due north of B? <coughs> It doesn't. Their diagram is wrong. I'm just reading the question again. There's nothing to imply that A is due north of B as they assumed in their diagram. Is there? Can we see it in the question? Am I missing something? A ship S is on a bearing, B, bearing point B. The distance between them is 15. They've assumed that a is due north of B. The diagram should look like this. The diagram should look like this. But their question is much easier. This question can't quite be solved. All right. I'm going to use their diagram just so I can solve that one quite easily. My diagram's correct. We might need a little bit more time to solve that one. Let me leave that one to one side. All right. Let's have a work on their diagram. They're missing something. They're missing. They're, they're assuming this, aren't they? 
They're assuming that that is due north. Let's add it to the question. Okay, so with this diagram, it's much easier. We need to find um, a ratio. Do we have a ratio? Do we have an angle and a side opposite? Which one? Which angle? We don't have all the angles directly. We don't have all the angles directly, but we, we can get there, is what you're saying, aren't you? We can find this angle here. How large is this one going to be? Why? This From south, south to north is a straight line. This is a straight line. The angle sum on a straight line is 180. So this angle is 60. But we still don't have an angle and a side opposite. Which angle do, which angle do we need? We need angle S. Can we find that one? How do we find that one? So this one, this one is 78 degrees. How do we find that one? Okay. So the easy answer is the angle sum in a triangle is 180 degrees. We have two angles. You always, if you have two, you always have all three. So if you have two, 180 minus 60 minus 42, 78. So now we have the elusive angle and side opposite, which is essential. That's our ratio. We are going to start off with that. What are we looking to find? We are looking to f find the distance between the ship and each port. So we'll do one at a time on this one. Let's find this distance here, which I'll call X. So we are gonna need We're going to need x. Which angle is opposite x? So we're going to need x over sine 42 is equal to, and then we need that ratio, 15.2 over the sine 78. What do we get as the answer for x here at this point? Work it out on your calculators. What was it you, Amelia? Did you have it? Yeah. What was it? About 10.4. 10.4. Okay. Have a go at putting up the calculation for side Y yourself. How about putting up the calculation for side Y yourself? Just come around and see how you get on with that one. Uh, let's continue a little here on this one. So we want to. Um, sorry, Amelia, Thea. Sorry, not Thea, Thea, Tiana. Let's let's continue. 
We are this time, we are after this one. The angle opposite is 60 degrees. So we use the same ratio as last time. We're going to use y over sine 60 is equal to 15.2 over sine 78. This gives us y is equal to, and what did we get as our answer? 13.5. Do we have any units? Meters. Miles. Miles. I'll use M anyway. Miles. It seems a bit close to have two ports 15 meters apart. They're very small ports. <laughs> All right, have a go at exercise 1J and 2A.